In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create well-styled and formatted documents. Now, when I say well-styled, I don't mean that you're going to like the look and feel of it, but it will be consistent and it will use the built-in formatting tools. So on the toolbar for Google Docs, you've probably seen this dropdown that has normal text title. You can actually customize all of these pieces here and use them between documents using the save as my default styles, use my default styles. And in this case, I've reset it to get rid of what I normally use. So what I like to do is always set my normal text first. And the way that I like to do that is just filling in some generic text. So let's put that in without any formatting. Okay, so this is all back to our normal text. And what I'm looking for here are the typeface, the line spacing, um, and just kind of how readable it is in large blocks. And then I tend to like to grab just pieces of text and do some lists with it. So let's split that up. And we usually want a couple of multi-line ones that will help us get a feel for the way that these are going to sit on the page as an ordered or unordered list. So to get started, I'm going to customize this typeface up here. And I want to use Roboto. And I like the light option. I think it is a little easier to read. And then 11 points seems fine. 12 is a little big. Um, but I definitely want to include some additional space between the lines. So I'm going to go with this one and a half to give a nice white space to make it a little more readable. And yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. Let's see how that looks here. If I come down here and do Roboto light and give this one and a half. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. So at this point, what I'm going to do is go ahead and select this text. And what I'm going to do is hover over normal text. And I'm going to say update normal text to match. Notice that the rest of the document that was already using normal text switches immediately to use this text style. That is super helpful. The next thing that we want to do is come in here and take a look. Now let's set our title. This is going to be the largest title that we'll set in our document. So let's just grab a little bit here and I'm going to use the Roboto slab and I'm going to use extra bold. That's clearly way too small for it. So I want to make this as big as I'm going to make anything, which I think will be, yeah, let's do 24. And I want to use a custom color for this. So I want to use CC. 0, 0, 0, 0. That's the red, that's the NC State red. So let's pick that. That looks pretty good, but you'll notice that this is kind of a lot of spacing between everything. And there's even a lot of spacing after the text too. So if I bring this up, it'll give me a better sense of how this is gonna sit on the page. So I probably don't want that much spacing in this. So let's adjust that maybe. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And then for this, the other thing that we're gonna want is, let's add some space after the paragraph. And that way, in between these lines, it stays nice and thin, but then I get a little extra space after the last line of this. And that looks good. So I'm gonna take this, and again, when I'm ready, I'll just say, go ahead and update title to match what I have selected. Let's do that. Now, You'll notice that as I did that, on the left side in the summary, it's going to pop up and give me this outline. And this is why you wanna use well-formatted documents because when you use normal text, titles, subtitles, it's going to be interpreted by Google Docs and also by document readers for those who have to use screen readers to help add context and understanding to the way that your document is laid out. So let's now make a heading two and we're just gonna grab this text here. And again, we wanna grab extra bold. Our largest one was 24. So maybe let's go 20 with heading two. And of course I wanna use that same color. So I'm gonna pick, there we go. And I wanna do the same thing I did previously. So I'm going to take this and 
let's make sure that we have everything laid out the way I want it laid out. And so we're gonna grab this, we wanna go back to 1.5, but then what we wanna do is add space after the paragraph, so there we go. That looks great. And let's go ahead and do heading number one. And we're going to do update heading number one to match. Okay. Now we have title, heading number one. Let's do heading number two. Okay. Same thing here, Roboto Slab. We're going to make this one 18. Again, same color. Add a little space afterwards. Okay. Let's grab this. Let's go in here. Heading 2. Update heading 2 to match. Now that we have a title, heading 1, and heading 2, you can see how it starts to indent. And we're going to go ahead and add a heading 3 right here. So let's go in, and we want this one again, Roboto Slab, Extra Bold, and we're going to go and make this one 16. Actually, maybe we'll make this one, yeah, like 14. Maybe this will make this one really small, and then do this, a little space after, and then set our color. Okay, this is going to be our heading three. And so you can see now on the left side how our document's laid out, and we can quickly jump between these sections. So we still can do some other things here. First is that we've now added heading one, two, and three. We can now see a heading four, so you can continue to add headings as you need. You also have the options to go in and start saving your styles. So at this point, I always like to go in and say, save as my default styles. And now when I open up a new document, that's going to be my new style. So I can go in here and do docs.new. And when I come in and look, there we go. There are the styles that we just set in the other document. So maybe I want to do some other things in here, right? Um, so let's say I want to have a table. And I'm going to insert a table. And I'm just going to have three columns. And this might be topic, person, time. This could be for like maybe an agenda, right? And I might have this be bold and make this Roboto, and I want to have this be white, and I want it to be centered, and I want the background color to be a red color. Okay, so that looks like a nice little table header there. Uh, and maybe we're gonna make these just a, just a hair bigger, we'll make those 12. So from here, what I can do is come in, heading four, update heading four to match and notice now that heading four when I use it it's going to show up here so I can start to see it if at any time you decide I don't really want to see the column names from my tables you can always hover and click the little X so if you ever see anything show up over here that you don't want to show up you can just click the X to delete it out and as you come in here and edit again it's going to use your normal text within this document in the places where you don't specify what you want. Okay. Now that we have a heading four, we are also given a heading five. But let's say I want to go back and edit the title. Maybe I want the title to be a little larger. So maybe I want this one actually to be 26 and maybe I want that to be centered when it gets put in. So I can do that, no problem. And all I'm gonna do is say, update title to match. Perfect. Now, when I'm editing and I wanna use these styles, let's say for example, I wanna make this a heading number one. 
I can just click anywhere in that line, come here and select heading one. When I'm ready to make a heading two, again, same deal. Come in here, click the line, heading two. And you'll see as you start to build your documents out, this is a really quick way to ensure that documents are consistent. Let's go in here and make sure that we save this. Save as my default styles. Now everything we've done are saved. Now every time you open a document, you can use this. And even when you open documents that maybe aren't your documents, but you want to apply this to it, you're able to do it just by saying, options, use my default styles, and that will import it from your settings inside of your Google Workspace and apply it to the document that you happen to be working on. This is really handy if you have a team of folks who are working through creating a document together, but ultimately you want to have the same consistent style across everybody. You can sit down and have the conversation around what this needs to look like, load it in as the default styles for the document, and then anybody else on the team can come in here and say, I wanna save these as my default styles. And then it will save and update based on what's been loaded into the document. So if this gives you an idea about how you can have some well-formatted documents that give consistency for the display layout and give you this nice outline on the left side of your Google Doc.